Welcome to the Student Center, or the SC. Here, we can go to classes, spend some time working out in the gym, or just hang out. Students are good at doing that. Need to make a school payment? You can do that here, too. This is actually the first building that you'll come to upon arrival at campus. If you look to your right, we have offices. Now, if you look to your left, we have stairs, and if you come follow me, I'll show you more. While first-year students have their classes exclusively in the main auditorium in the Institute building, Learning happens all over this campus. Second and third year classes are held in buildings such as the Frida Lindsay Building, the Student Center, the Wayne Myers Auditorium, the Christian Center, and the Jack Moore Hall, just to name a few examples. Welcome to the Gordon Lindsay House of Prayer, named after our founder who famously stated, Everyone ought to pray at least one violent prayer each day. This room has literally changed lives. I mean, can you imagine all that God is able to do on grounds that facilitate constant prayer? Some of my favorite classes are held in this room. With theater style seating, this auditorium is perfect for auditions, worship nights, movie nights, and... Student presentations also often happen in this room. CFNI loves to give you the opportunity to practice exactly what you're learning. Taking homiletics, you'll preach it on that very stage. Doing your third year project, also that stage. Here at Christ in the Nations, we train world changers, but in order to be a leader, you also got to be a reader, so come to the library. CFNI offers music lessons. Coming to a Bible college means that everywhere you go, you will see an acoustic guitar or a cajon. If you don't play an instrument, take advantage of what we offer here. We have classrooms, practice rooms, and a recital building where you can cultivate your calling. This is definitely a place for you to spend your time. Not only will we teach you how to play instruments and sing better than your roommates, we'll teach you all the fundamentals of ministry. The main auditorium here in the IB has two levels of seating and seats comfortable enough you want to take them home. All of our first year classes and morning chapels are held in this auditorium. Our students have the opportunity to attend weekly night services, monthly nights of worship, and annual live recordings right here. If there's ever a place to encounter God on this campus, this is it. You may not know this, but CFNI also has a cafe. So whether it's early mornings or you're just on the go, this stuff is delicious. Here is where you'll be having your meals and plenty of them. As you can see, we have plenty of options. So whether you like pizza or salad, lucky you, you can have both. The cafeteria seating area is nice and spacious. That way you and all your friends can sit together and have that heart to heart over the soup of the day. Now this is what I'm talking about, a rec room. CFNI is in Dallas, Texas, which means it gets really hot outside. So when it's hot out and you're not in class, where do you go? You won't be going to your dorm, you'll be coming here to the rec room. There is nothing better than seeing children experience the tangible love of God. That's why here at CFNI, we are super committed to children's ministry. Do you have any little ones? You have that many? Someone's a little blessed. Why don't you take a look at where they will be studying while you are here becoming a world changer at Christ for the Nations. Welcome to family housing. Not only does this have the comfort of homes, this will be your family's home. That's why we have a full kitchen, a living room space, one, two, and three bedroom options, one and two bathroom options to accommodate whatever size family you may have. Contrary to what you may infer, the complex named Mary Martha is actually the men's dormitory. Each room is equipped with one to two bedrooms, a bathroom, some closets for extra space, a wonderful kitchen that has some space for a microwave and a fridge when needed, and hopefully, loving roommates. One thing that is very important to note is you don't need to bring your own bed or bed frame. Both of those are included. The Agape Complex is where our female students reside. There's really no difference in amenities between Mary Martha and Agape, but let's be honest, these rooms are cleaner. It's also important to note that we don't have in-unit washers and dryers, but we do have plenty of laundry rooms in each complex for residents to use. Christ for the Nations Institute, training world changers.